This exercise is all about analyzing income when you're trying to decide if you can eliminate any departments within your company. So here we have a company that has one, two, three, four, five departments. And under the first assumption, management does not lay, eliminate any of these departments. So if that's the case, we're going to see what the combined income is for all departments if we do not eliminate any departments. So uh, we'll bring all these numbers down. For example, Department M uh, will go to $20,500 in sales, avoidable expenses. Uh, 4,600, unavoidable 30,000, total expenses 346, and the loss of 14,100. Do the same thing for N. It has a projected or a combined uh, amount here of a profit of 8,400. Department O has a net income of 7,600. Department P has a profit of 2,000. And Department T has a net loss of 5,900. When we combine these uh, to one total for the company, the sales are going to be 124,000. The avoidable expenses uh, total 65,2. The unavoidable expenses total 60,800. Total expenses 126,000. When you take sales minus total expenses, you get net income. In this case, it'll be a net loss of $2,000. So this is what the company picture looks like for all the departments combined if you go under the assumption that we do not eliminate any departments. Let's go on. Assumption two, what happens if you eliminate departments that only are going to have expected losses? So let's do that. Uh, looks like Department M is going to have a loss, expected loss of 14,100. Department T expects to lose 5,900. And if we bring this down to our answer blanks down here, Department M uh, will have zero sales because we're eliminating all departments that have expected losses. And we'll also eliminate the avoidable expenses, but you can't eliminate unavoidable expenses for each department, so that still carries down as $30,000. Total expenses, even though you have no sales, are $30,000. And we have a net loss of $30,000. Uh, department N is going to have profits, so it comes down as uh, $8,400. Department O won't be eliminated. It'll have a $7,600 net income. Department P will come down also as a $2,000 net income. And we're going to eliminate the uh, Department T. So that means sales will be zero. Avoidable expenses will be zero. Unavoidable expenses, uh, just because they're unavoidable, uh, they can't be eliminated. So that brings it down to 5500 Total expenses 5,500 and a net loss of 5,500. When you combine uh, all of the departments under this scenario to what a combined total net income for the company would be, you get sales of 84,000, avoidable expenses total 41,2, unavoidable expenses total 60,800, total expenses 102, uh, and the net income would be. 84 minus 102, or in this case, a net loss of 17,500, which under these circumstances, uh, it looks like uh, we're going to have a, a larger loss than under the first uh, scenario. Finally, under requirement three, or scenario three, management eliminates departments with sales dollars that are less than avoidable expenses. And this is really the general rule of thumb when it comes to whether or not you should eliminate a department or not. The rule of thumb is you should only eliminate departments where the uh, avoidable expense, excuse me, the, uh, the avoidable expenses are more than the unavoidable, excuse me, than the sales. So again, the rule of thumb is you should only eliminate departments where the avoidable expenses are greater than the sales because this is just like incremental revenues and incremental expenses. If the incremental expenses are greater than the incremental revenues, you shouldn't do that that particular uh, situation. So uh, let's go down and put down these things uh, under each department. So 
Department M looks like the sales were 20500 and the avoidable expenses were 4600 so we won't eliminate that department and we'll bring it down just as it is with a $14,000 loss. Department N uh, has sales of 33.5 and avoidable expenses of 18.7. So keep that department because the sales are greater than the avoidable expenses. So it comes down as $8,400 profit. Department O sales of 25,000, avoidable expenses of 14.5. So keep that department. $7,600 is the net income. Department P. You have a $26,000 sales, a number, and avoidable expenses are $8,000, so keep that department. And then finally, uh, Department T, the sales are $19,000, the avoidable expenses are nineteen four, so you should eliminate this department. So you, you have zero sales, you have zero uh, expense, avoidable expenses. You're still going to bring down the unavoidable expenses of $5,500, and the total expenses there would be 5500 and a net loss would be 5500 Now let's combine all these departments under this scenario to get total sales of 105 avoidable expenses total about to be 458 unavoidable 60800 total expenses are going to be 106600 and we're going to have a net loss of $1,600. So this is the lowest net loss, and this is the scenario where we only eliminated the departments where sales were less than avoidable expenses.